Zanius. Mmm. We are here. It's summer in the city, so we had to go down by the water. This is the way to do it. You gotta have some water for an action when it's the summertime. And we are in South Brooklyn. It's a place we don't come to that often, but why not, right? We are officially starving. I can't wait to eat. It's like 4.35 in the afternoon. <laughs> this, is a, this is going to be our first stop, first meal of the day. Day. Yep, we're gonna take you on a tour of some old school Brooklyn spots, old school Italian. So we're gonna start off with some seafood right here at a legendary spot in Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn. Can't even talk about it anymore. Let's, Let's go. go. stop of the day is called Randazzo's Clam House. So anyone who's from Brooklyn or from New York City, it's a good chance if you grew up here, you've come here before. It's a classic Italian seafood joint. I used to come here a lot of times with my pops who would come here, watch football, eat it inside. And usually, you know, it's fall, winter, football season, right? But now we're actually in the summer, we're eating outside on these picnic tables. You can't, can't beat dining out fresco, right? In New York, definitely not. Cool breeze. It's actually my first time here. Greg is taking me here. Yes. Oh, I'm starving. Well, we are, yeah. We haven't eaten in like well over 18 hours, so we're gonna feast. Got a lot of good stuff coming, we're gonna show you very soon. Okay, so first off, here's my red wine. Yep, I got a little Peroni, the Italian beer, so it's summertime, why not? Calamari's here. Yes. Thank you. Enjoy. The signature dish here at Randazzo's is the galamad. That's right, so it's fried calamari, but you gotta use this, the Brooklyn lingo galamad. So that's what we do. We got the fried calamari, we got it with their signature sauce. So they have the medium and they got the spicy. You gotta go spicy. So this is the classic tomato sauce. Mm. This is what it's all about right here. I haven't eaten this in at least 15 or more years. Excited to have it again. It's been a long time. Mm, my God. Wow, calamari, you can already hear the crisp. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Even on its own. It's so fresh. It's very lightly battered with some flour here, it looks like. Super crispy. You just feel it when you put the fork into it. It's super crispy and light. But, we gotta use some of that spicy sauce. We gotta go in there. Sauce. Mm. Lightly battered, crunchy, perfect. So the sauce is not too spicy. Like, you know the order of the spicy? It's got a very slight, slight spice to it. It's just very flavorful and it goes so well with the galamata stuff. So. Sweet and spicy the sauce, huh? Mm. It's full of herbs too. Mm, it's bread. Yep. It's the bread you dip that in the sauce. That's that's what this is for. Oh, it's hard. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It always has been. <laughs> I'll take this uh, this bread here, dip it in that sauce. Mm -hmm. That's what it's for. It's a good vessel for the sauce. It's definitely like older bread. That's what it's meant for, though. Thank you. Here we got the baked clams as our second food of the day. I'd have a sip of beer first, right? <laughs> but uh, anytime you go to an Italian restaurant, specialized in seafood, you gotta go with the baked clams. Baked clams are just a classic Italian seafood dish here in New York, especially. Um, even any just regular Italian restaurant, I love going with the baked clams, so we had to get an order of these. And we got the little necks, the smaller ones. I feel like they're better that way than the larger, so let's do it. Let's take a bite of this baked clam. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Clam is 
very fresh. Got the, 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 the right amount of breadcrumbs in there. We got the nice chunky clam underneath. So good. Just a little Parmesan in there. Mm. Classic baked clams right here. Mm. Very fresh. Yep, scooping up that juice. I like it. <laughs> it's like it just came out of them. Um, and it's just something better about eating it outside, just steps from the water. It just adds to the appeal of it here. Sure. Oh. Mm. <laughs> all right. Gotta get the rest of this big clam juice, breadcrumbs, all that good stuff. Yeah, you get that briny clam juice, got the lemon, you got the herbs, oregano, breadcrumbs, all that good stuff. Mm. Big clams are awesome. It's got a little chew to it. Mm. Loving to cook it out there. That's the way to go. And the sauce definitely has a kick. It's the Fra Diablo. So this seafood Fra Diablo. Fra Diablo is the spicy red tomato sauce. We got the seafood. So we have the clams, we have the mussels, and we have the shrimp. Ooh, that kick right away was really nice. Mm. This is this is um a little bit spicy from the sauce, yep. calamari sauce that we had. Shrimp's been bathing in that sauce. Don't eat pasta that often, but man, this is in the spot right now. Mm. So Randazzo's was awesome. Haven't been there in so long. It's great to introduce Jumi to a childhood favorite of mine. It's been there over 80 years. And as you well know, New York in 2012, Hurricane Sandy hit it very hard, especially this neighborhood. I had read that the owner of Randazzo's, he had to escape when things got really dicey on a raft. That's what the newspaper said. So I'm glad it survived. I'm glad it's still functioning. Glad this whole strip is back to business. And yeah, this is a classic spot. You come out here, enjoy the waterfront, enjoy just the South Brooklyn fields. This is not Williamsburg, folks. This is not the hip neighborhoods. This is old school Brooklyn right here. Speaking of old school Brooklyn, we're gonna head to another really old school gem. Ooh. You're gonna see where that is. Another Brooklyn classic, especially in the summertime, sitting outdoors, everybody's here. Oh yeah, what is it? L and B Spumoni Gardens. Check the sign right there, Brooklyn Classic. Signature square slices right here. Oh yeah. Very unique slice. They have the cheese first, sauce on top, a little parmesan on there too. Oh yeah, fresh. These are they're just churning them out all day long. These big, big pans of them coming out. They cut them with a knife. Oh my god. Yeah, so I'm gonna get one each and I got an extra because can't come all the way out here and not get more than gonna not get just one. Had to get more than just had to get more than just one coming all the way out here. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. Okay, it's got that crispy bottom. It's got a little gumminess inside too and that cheese, but you really taste the sauce on top and that parmesan kicks in. I love sauce on top. We've praised sauce on top pizza many times for good reason. Comes Greg bearing desserts. We couldn't come to LB Spumoni Gardens and not get the Spumoni, right? It's with their signature dessert. Right. Ooh, it's dripping. So, since this is my first time here, let me be the judge of it. So, yeah. with pistachios, we got chocolate, and we got vanilla right here. So, Kind of like Italian ice plus ice cream or sherbet. Mmm. I love a chocolate. I love a chocolate. They serve in these classic little paper cups. So if you remember, we went to the Italian Ice King in our frozen dessert video. We'll put the card up here for that. Check it out. 
It's served in a similar, that's a New York classic cup right here, so let's take a bite. Mm. So it's got that cool, refreshing Italian iced consistency mixed with the creamy, like an ice cream. It's, it's a really interesting dessert. It's a, it's a classic here. You come here, you get a slice, you get a spumoni, good to go. I heard the food here is amazing too. It's actually a sit-down restaurant here as well, so I heard that's an awesome spot to hit up too. This is such a New York summer classic right here. This is probably like a top five New York summer classic spot for sure. Even though they are open all year round, you can sit out here in the dead of winter if you like. I have before. <laughs> it's worth it. It's getting darker and our stomach is getting fuller. Yep. But we are down to our last stop of the day, which is dessert! Yes, so we're going to a well-known Italian pastry shop here called Villa Bate Alba. It's a gem here in Bensonhurst. They specialize in all types. They have gelato, they got cannoli, they got all types of good stuff here. So let's see what we're going to get into. We're pretty full, but as you know... Always have room for dessert! That's right. <laughs> let's so go! Let's do it. We got gelato, we got gelato. And we actually lucked out because it says on the sign that they're closing for a week for vacation. So we got here on the last day they're open so they reopen again after vacation. So great timing. Best way to end this Italian, classic Italian. Crawl. Impromptu crawl. We didn't really plan this. No, we this literally crawl. just the last minute like, oh, what the hell, why not? Let's just, uh, let's do this. So actually we woke up today, I'm not saying this morning because it wasn't morning, we woke up late. So we woke up today and like, oh, let's go to Brooklyn and get Italian food. Yeah, mm. we, we travel for food a lot and the funny thing, we actually travel overseas for food more than we do in our own city sometimes, especially some place like deep Brooklyn like this, so. We initially ordered cannolo, but we had to get two. <laughs> can't just get one. We don't eat cannoli that often. So we got two. And I got something else that I like to get from time to time because it brings me back to when I visited Italy three years ago. When I was in Naples, I had Scoia'tael, AKA lobster tail. Let's look at the shape. It's a flaky, crispy, I'm gonna try this first. It's a flaky, crispy pastry. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Whoa. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. 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 That's heavy ASMR. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. So crispy and flaky. Got an excellent citrus flavor. I believe there's orange rind in there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love that citrusy kick to cut through the cream that's inside. It's really good. So, the only thing that would make this even better is if you had a little espresso to go with it. Because, oh, it's so perfect. But it's 7 30 on a Sunday night. And we got to go to sleep and wake up for work tomorrow. So, we got the next best thing coffee gelato. That's right. Mmm. Oh, you got that strong coffee flavor. Yeah, it's definitely like an ice cream espresso right here. Mm -hmm. It hits the spot. It's, definitely. It gets that coffee flavor you want without having that entire espresso shot. It's very good. So what's nice is that they make their gelato in-house, homemade. Thought about getting the gelato con brioche. So that's, they put two scoops of gelato in a brioche bread, but that's a little, little hefty right now. I'd rather get the extra pastries than the, the brioche bread as good as it is. Had it in Sicily, that's an awesome dish, but We'll save that for a future Sicily episode when we make it out there. Yeah! So there was a time when Greg and I used to go do explore like, like this way, like impromptu going to places and like far, near or far. Today is just one of those days. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it brings us back to those times that today we're just doing it in video. That's right. So we hit up three awesome old school Italian spots here in Brooklyn. 
know, Brooklyn is known for Italian food, especially like the old school red sauce joints like Randazzo's. And then we had classic pizza. We can't do an old school Italian food video without pizza, right? L&B Spumoni Gardens, classic. And then we finish off here, one of the best Italian dessert spots in the city, Villabate Alba. Oh, it was so good. It really blew us away at the end. Even though we were full, that there was so much room for dessert. There always is. It was today. <laughs> Whew. What'd oh. you think of it today? What'd you think? Amazing day. First day, first time for all these spots for you. Yep. First time. First time. Yeah. It's not easy to get this kind of stuff in Queens. You have a couple spots, but they're a little more spread out. So Brooklyn yeah. is the place to be. So oh. We hope you enjoyed this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please smash that like button. Smash it. <laughs> smash it. <laughs> like Sub and subscribe. Yep, subscribe, hit the bell. You want to be the first to comment, right? Yes, you do. Good night. Thanks for watching. See you soon.